Hello. Oh. Hey, Connor. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Very good. Thank you for uh, joining me. Of course. It's my pleasure. Okay. So I wanted to ask you if somebody had never heard your band before and they just said, what song shall I listen to first? What song would you, because your, your music's so varied, what song would you want them to hear first? Okay. So I'm going to give you two answers to this. The okay. first is the song I would choose would be the opening song on this album, 737. I think that that is the one that I would be like, oh, you should listen to this. It's the most kind of like us that our band has been. Um, but the second answer that I'm going to give you is this thing that I have been thinking about a ton with that exact question, um, because when I'm talking to other band, like other artists uh, and giving any piece of advice, it's that to think of um, not to think of that question as being what song do you show or what, uh, what descriptors to like how to describe the band as much as to be able to tell a story in some way. Um, I, are you familiar with the album, the party by Andy Schaff? I wouldn't say I was super familiar with it. I've, I've heard it though. Yeah. I have told so many people to listen to his album, like that album, the party. And I feel like every single one of them has at least listened to it or checked it out mainly because the way to describe that album is not in like what it sounds like as much as saying the album is a case study of uh, a party and like being a person at a party looking around the room and write it like a story about each interaction happening in this party mm -hmm. uh so there's you know a like uh kind of like a bicurious friendship song there is a song about a guy doing magic at the party being like really lame uh there's a song about the first person to arrive at the party uh the person you know it's like uh the faux pas of being early um so there's all of these relationships happening and he's writing about them individually and that is such a amazing idea amazing concept for an album but it's also something that i'm like that's how you describe an album it's not like it's indie rock or check this song out it's like no nah, you're able to tell the story so that's really what we tried to create in this one was being able to like that thing that i was describing of like the significance the cosmic significance of the thing it's 10 themes that all relate to like the significance anyway right. that's uh not the answer and I, I know that's not the answer you're looking for i just felt like matter. i haven't i haven't been asked that question yet and i'm like oh this is the time where i'm able to like actually talk about this thing i've been preaching okay so talking about albums that you love and you want people to hear what's a classic album that you think everybody needs to hear at least once in their lifetime Wow. This is, this is one that I feel like it is more likely that you would miss this album, but uh, there's an album by the no twist called neon golden. That is to me, like one of the most important records that came out of like the two thousands. And I feel like it is such a forgotten album that like just people, I mean, people don't really respect the no twist as like some important band. But to me, they're like such an important band. It's where I, I draw a lot of inspiration from. And that album specifically is like, you know, there's few like perfect albums out there, in my opinion, like an album that start to finish has no lull. Uh, and that is one that is probably the most important album, in my opinion, uh, that people have never heard. <laughs> like there's other albums that I consider to be perfect. like. Phoenix is Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix is I think like an absolute just no moment in the entire record that like lets up. It's just great from start to finish. Uh, I think Radiohead's OK Computer and Kid A are another couple examples. I think the last the, the last one that I would say is like one that I feel like a lot of people maybe skip over or something. Uh, 
not necessarily, but whatever, uh, is uh, Parentheses by Seeger Rose. I think that's another, like, it doesn't stop. It's just great start to finish. So for fans of your band, what's an album that you absolutely love that they would be surprised that you love? I don't know, man. I I feel like we wear like our, our influences on our sleeve in some way. Okay, for instance, um, Carly Rae Jepsen's Dedicated is an album that I think is just spectacular. And I feel like I've talked about it enough and our new album is has enough like pop influence on it to make that kind of an obvious connection, I guess. Mm-hmm. But maybe that would be surprising. It's not necessarily the most surprising thing ever, but like one album that is one of my, just one of my favorite albums of all time is Dare to be Stupid by Weird Al. And wow. that might be a surprising thing only because our music is so unfunny. There's <laughs> like nothing humorous about it. I guess, again, another band that we kind of talk about all the time, but uh, Iowa by Slipknot. No, that's a that's an album. There, there are very few albums that all three, me, John, and Eric, all like adore. And Iowa by Slipknot is definitely one that we are all like, it's not just we like it, we truly regard it as one of the best albums of all time. I, I love the fact that you went from Carly Rae to Slipknot within about 60 seconds. That, <laughs> you a lot of kudos from my point of view so that's great well good luck with the album i love what i've heard so far i'm looking forward to hearing it in its entirety in order thank you so much for having me i really appreciate it thank you for having me in your home my pleasure yeah it is my home i love your wood pile back there oh yeah well in that's that's more for the winter in montreal we have like a, a wood burner down here in in the basement and we make sure that we don't run out of that kind of stuff. So. Well, it makes for a beautiful aesthetic. Yeah, it does too, actually. So. All right. All right. Donna, and uh, you take care and good luck with everything. You too. We'll see you then. All right. Cheers. Cheers.